Okay, today I'm trying out the plastics, uh, plastic repair system. And as you can see here, I've got a center pocket door from my 2018 Goldwing, or center pocket, I should say. And you can see one of the tabs is broken on the left. Um, about half the tab is missing. I'm not exactly sure how this happened. Um, Fortunately, I have a good tab on the right-hand side, and I'm going to use some mold material that comes in the plastic kit. And I'm going to create a mold of the good tab, and then hopefully take that mold over to the left-hand side and create uh, basically a new tab, I guess, using that uh, Plastex material. Now, I've never done this before, so this is my first time you're seeing it live. This tab actually holds a clip nut and then um, screws down. This is what the center console or center panel switch actually screws into at the base of the center panel switch. So um, the clip nut goes over this tab and it has threads underneath and that five millimeter bolt goes down through it and screws into this. Now, um, in the video, I'll make reference to the fact that it holds a body clip, but that's not correct. It actually holds a five millimeter uh, socket bolt. So a little clip nut will slip over this tab, hopefully. So what I'm doing here is I'm cleaning up this tab with alcohol first, just to make sure there's no oil or grease or fingerprints or anything like that on there. And then I'll clean up the other one too uh, before we make the mold. Now this mold material comes in the kit, and I'm just heating it up on the stove in a Teflon skillet. I'm using a piece of parchment paper because I don't really want to get that mold material onto the pan. Uh, and it takes it a while to heat up. I probably heated it up for, I don't know, 15 minutes, and it gets soft and warm. And you can really easily mold it. Here I'm just molding it onto uh, the good tab that I have. Okay, this is the uh, mold. I'm creating a mold here of this tab. <clears throat> and I'm going to let it cool, and then we'll remove it and transfer it over to the... Uh, I'm going to take some of this off because I don't need all this on there. And then we'll... Um, I want to make sure to get the edges. Make sure some of that mold material is pushed through this hole so that we get a good... I want this edge all the way around so I know how thick this should be. So now we're going to let this cool and see if we can't transfer it over to our uh, area that needs to be repaired. I'm just making sure everything's squished into place here good so that we get a good, accurate mold. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's. Uh, See if we can't release this mold. It's soft, it's still rubbery. And there's my, my mold. And it looks like a pretty good mold. So we're gonna transfer this over to my crack piece and see if we can't get that to go on there like that. Now I'm gonna turn this upside down. I'm going to put some, a towel down here so I don't damage my paint. And we'll look at it here from the bottom. And I can see we've got a pretty good... Okay, now we're supposed to put some of our uh, Plastex liquid into this little squeeze bottle using this little pipette. So I'll grab some of this. don't know exactly how much I need because it's hard to tell. And I'm going to put a couple of squirts in there because I'm sure it's going to take at least that much just to be safe. Okay, now I'm going to seal that up. Put my little tip on here. Now, the next step, there, get that snapped in place, is to use, boy, that stuff stinks. It smells like, uh, hmm, kind of like fingernail polish or fingernail, maybe acetone, has a weird smell, a very plastic smell. Okay, now I'm going to take this little needle and stick it on here. And then, from what I understand, 
I'm supposed to put a couple of drops into this black powder. There's the powder. And then pick those drops up and stick them down into where I need to repair. So we'll try this and see if I can get it to work. I'm going to grab a chair. It might be easier to do this sitting down. And I'm going to reposition the camera so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. I may get my head in the shot because I have to lean over here to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put a just a drop or two. And that's supposed to go in there like that. And then we just drop this powder in and flow a little more liquid to smear it around and it stinks to the high heaven. Stinks enough where it ought to be doing something. I think what I'll probably have to do is end up filing some of this down. Because I'm probably going to get more in there than I need. Then you kind of flow a little more of that liquid. Yeah, I may have to do some, some filing because that surface is going to have to be flat. Now, that's all I need, I think. I've got pretty much the whole area covered. So let's let that dry and see what happens and see if that ends up making a repair. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to try to remove this mold. I've let this stuff sit now for about 45 minutes. I'm hoping that's enough. Wow. Look at that. There's actually a piece there that looks pretty much like the original. I used the black powder so it actually kind of matches. That's uh, pretty incredible. It actually it even feels, you know, like the real deal. Now if I turn it over, this is the part here. Well, let me look here. I can't even remember. I can't even remember which part I've actually repaired. But I think it's this side over here. So this side actually looks even better <laughs> than the original for some reason. That's kind of weird. Okay, so what I need to do, I'm going to have to probably file out that hole a little bit because a little bit of the, the plastic uh, plastex got down in there in that hole. And so I can clean that up a little. In fact, it feels like it might actually just, might be able to get it out with my finger because I've got to be able to get a body clip down in there. And my um, clip nut that goes over that looks something like this. So it will actually slip on here now, should. I may have to do some filing on the back because I think it's it, the material, you can see here the material is built up a little bit. So it's a little thicker than it needs to be. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'll probably get a little flat file and file this down a little. I could use a Dremel tool, but I don't even think I need to do that. So I'll file that flat, and that should be good enough to where I can get my little clip nut on there. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to let this sit a little bit longer and cure a little more because it feels still a little wobbly. It's not, it's not quite 100% set yet. So let's let it... Let it cure a little bit more and um, before I start putting any uh, pressure on it. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see here, but what I decided to do is I put the mold back on and I'm filling in that, that side piece that's kind of a it's, a... it's really just for support, but I filled it in with a little bit more of that Plastex powder so that it would be a little more the shape of the original and I kind of turned the uh, glove box up on its side or the, the, the uh, pocket door on the side. And uh, now I'm going to let that dry. And I'll let this dry for a couple hours before I start working on it. Okay, you can sort of see what the repair looks like. I also added some more of that plastics material on this side to kind of build up that edge so that it more closely resembles 
you know, what it was before. Now if I turn it over, you can kind of see how it looks right now. I'm going to clean this up with a file. I'm going to do a little bit of work, just a little bit of a... Just going to get in here and... I probably should use a round file for this. But I didn't bring my round file inside, so... It just has to be open enough so that that trim clip can get down in there. I'll probably go back and get my round file and... I allowed this to cure for probably, oh, hour and a half. Well, I've got my uh, filing done. I'm trying to get my clip nut slipped back over this new tab. And it seems to be holding pretty well. Uh, let's see if I can get my, this actually holds a screw. And as you can see, it appears that this repair is going to work. So, this center pocket door uh, surround or mounting brace is a pretty expensive part. And I just saved myself, uh, maybe saved myself a bunch of money using this Plastex plastic repair to repair that tab. I've actually got a couple more tabs on a couple of other parts I'm going to try this on too. Okay, here is another part that I'm going to try to repair with Plastex. And this one's going to be a little tougher. This is actually the lower cowl off the engine. It's all plastic. And I'm pretty sure this was broken at the factory because when I took it off, it just came apart. And I took it off correctly. But there's a nylon snap clip that goes right down here on the bottom and you can see fortunately this piece was still hanging on and I believe it goes like this you can kind of see how it sits up like that the problem is there's not much surface with which to make a repair and I would normally want to make a repair or put some of the material down underneath, but I've got to be able to slip this nylon clip over this, and it fits almost down to the very base of this. So I'm afraid if I get too much material, I don't know if there's enough room in there where I can file it or grind it off to get this little nylon clip in there. And if I don't put any material down on this base to hold it, to secure it, I'm afraid it's not going to be strong enough and it's not going to hold up. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to go ahead and set this in place. See if I can get it to just kind of sit there. I'm going to clean it with alcohol first. And then we'll see if we can't put some of that Plastex material in there and get it to hold. Okay, here's the kind of the finished as best as I could get. Now you look, it's real sloppy. I've got a lot of extra Plastex material in here uh, just because I was trying to kind of work it up the sides of this, of this little post, I guess you would call it. And I, I worked a little bit down in here and on the back side too. I couldn't put too much in there because I've got to get this little nylon clip over there. But it feels pretty darn sturdy as it is right now. So hopefully that'll hold up. It doesn't matter I've got all this excess because this part doesn't show. You know, it's on the back side. This is what shows. So it's out of sight anyway. This is not an expensive piece. This is only about a $35 part, but you know, you hate to replace it. And I had the Plastex and this was a good test for it. So let's see if I can get this little nylon clip to go on and stay. I guess that's the real test, isn't it? Okay, it's on. Wow. So I think I might have saved myself another $35 having to replace this part. And um, so anyway, right, right now, as it is right now, I'm pretty impressed with Plastex. You know, I think just for replacing broken tabs and broken parts, it's pretty darn cool.